Hi guys, I'm Jordan from Norwich Camping and Leisure and I'm beside the updated Dometic drive away awnings for 2021. Uh, so these are the Rally Air Pro drive aways. So we've got a 260 here, a 330 and a 390. They also do this 330 in an all season material. Um, so obviously it's a lot more harder wearing, better if you're obviously going into Europe or if you're having up for a longer period of time and when you have more use out of it. So it's a better, stronger material, more breathable. Uh, material so they also do that which we haven't got up here at the moment um, but they, I have done a video in previous years on it but to start the video obviously it hasn't had much change from last year so we'll just tell you those features now what's new about it um, so if you do happen to come across the old video you've got that one as well um, which you can relate to so new features this year is you can completely zip out the front panels so on the rally models even the caravan ones you couldn't zip them front, front panels out in previous now you can. So you can completely take out this panel and this panel. You can always take out the side panels because they take annexes like you see up there. Inside the awning we have a new little pockets to be able to fit a veranda pole. So there's little clips in there and then you can buy a veranda pole as an optional extra. So that just sort of goes along this point here. So you can fold your, your door over that pole or hang things on it. Um, it just obviously gives it a bit more support but that's a nice little feature as well. And then the other new feature as well, I don't know if you can see from there, is this little pocket up the top here. So this has now got a little pole in there and that has always been up there, that ventilation, but it's now been sort of had a little cover over it to allow for sort of air to flow up into it to allow more circulation, uh, ventilation to reduce condensation and different things like that. So that's a nice little feature. Um, just obviously all with Dometic and Camper, they're always improving their te you know, their awnings uh, in some way. Um, but obviously Camper and Dometic joined together and now Dometic is the top the end, top end stuff. So this is why this is now called Dometic, but has previously been known as Camper. Um, so the 260 is 260 wide, 330, 330 wide, and 390, 390 wide. Uh, and then they're 250 deep and then I believe they've got a, a tunnel area of 90 centimetres deep. So that gives you an idea of how, how big of an awning they are. But they're single point inflation, so you pump it up from this point here in the middle, and the whole thing pumps up together. So it's nice and quick and easy to pump up, and that is why people love the Camper previously products, uh, and it's now Dometic. Uh, then you deflate it from all the leg valves, so that allows all the air to flow out and, uh, and obviously deflate really quickly. So quick and easy pitch and quick to deflate. What more could you want? It comes with the pump, which is a push-up, push-down pump, pegs and curtains. So, you know, you can buy optional extras like roof liners, carpets and different things. Um, but these are driveway awnings, so uh, you can, they've got a tunnel on the back, so they attach to your, your camper van uh, into the rail, or we found it's easier just to throw them straight over the top with the guy ropes and peg the guy ropes down the other side. That way, it's a lot quicker and easier to put on and off and you get, sometimes get a nicer seal because it pulls over the van just a little bit more just to create that seal because sometimes you get water dripping down the Fiamma uh, or, or your blinds that you might have, depending on how they're fitted though. But we'll show you inside and obviously show you the tunnels now. So on the back here is the tunnel. Um, so this is the bit that would connect to your, your camper. So you've got the beading on there to put a dry, use a driveway kit to connect it to your, maybe your cassette rail. Uh, or you know the wind out awning you might have in your camper van or, or, if, or any other sort of other kit you might use or what we found is we're using these straps here so this strap so we've got it the shorter one but we can lengthen that out and what I'd do is sometimes you can put a hole in the tennis ball push that in throw it over the top of your vehicle that way you can obviously it's easy just to get it over the top and peg them down the other side so it's nice and taut like we've got it here and you've got three straps on the, on the sleeve and what it has is it has this little extra bit here. In previous years in some photos, they, it showed it a lot bigger, but it didn't need to be that big, so it's shorter. So that bit just goes over the top of your van a little bit, just to create a nice seal. But once that's obviously connected, you've got all little straps in here and different bits just to make it nice and tight to try and create a, a good seal for your camper van. But that tunnel is universal. You know, it tries to fit as many vehicles as possible. So it's just a tunnel to get you from your van to your awning. You've also got a side door in there, so once this is obviously, these go up a lot higher. Um, so I think, the, well the dim dimensions I'll put below the video, um, but they're about, uh, 
about 240-ish, all the way up to sort of three meters. Um, but just check below the video on that one because they're uh, all on our website because I might be might be a little bit wrong on the dimensions there. Um, but they've got a zip in, in the doors here. So that allows you to sort of come out of your camper and go straight out either side, depending on which way you want to go, and then not go through your awning. So that gives you that option. Uh, then we've got, so if you were to drive away from it for the day, you could either toggle this up at the top here, or you could leave it as, it as we've got it here. So when you drive away, you're leaving it all sort of in place. And then uh, when you come back, you can just attach it again. On the back here, same with the other ones, we've got big panels. Um, so you can obviously have one open or two open. So when you, I mean, obviously when you camper van, you're only gonna have one door on your camper van, or you might have a sliding door to be fair. So depending on which side you want to use it. So this one is actually inside the 390. Uh, I think I made a mistake earlier in the video, called it the 330, 390, but it's actually 330, 390. Um, so three meters 90 wide, lovely big spacious awning. You've got the dual pitch height with the beams. So they're a lot squarer. So it gives you more headroom here um, and better use inside the awning. We've got big three big beams at the back of the, the awning, which go upright. So that's obviously what gives you the nice square shape uh, to it and obviously that then allows the tunnel to go up to your vehicle. Um, but you can buy carpet, breathable carpets to go in this area. Um, so there's obviously not a lot more cushioned or you can have it as grass, however you wish. We've got skylights in the roof, um, comes with curtains. Um, and then obviously you've got your side panels, which like I said, they zip out so you can put bedroom annexes in there as, as you wish. This is the new veranda bar. Um, so they've got these little clips just on the side of the beam here just for that to slot into. So if you wanted to open your window, you could, we'll do that now for you anyway, while we're here. You can just hang it over that bar, like so. Um, or there might be a way uh, you can sort of roll it into it as well to uh, make it so it's not hanging. Um, but that's a nice little feature. Obviously allows a lot more airflow in as well. You have got a double zip on there. So you can actually put some uh, a pack of mesh panels on the front as well. So if you're going somewhere hot, you can put mesh panels on the front there. So as I said previous, you can zip that panel out and you can put this bedroom annex in here if you wish. Um, so that comes with an inner tent. So it's sort of like a two berth. So ideal for if you've you know, got more family coming and stay or something, someone can stay in there or great use for storage. It's got a zip on the back here so you can get in there um, and use it as sort of a, a garage area if you wanted to. And then again, we've just got it thrown over the top of this vehicle here, uh, and pegged the other side. It does bunch up a bit here, but on the inside, that's all nice and uh, nice and taut. So this, you can still use this door here as you wish, but it is just a tunnel. So it's just trying to make it work uh, ideal for you. But this is the Camper Rally, or sorry, the Dometic Rally driveway range, um, Rally Air Pro driveways, 260, 330, 390, and 330 all season. Um, so obviously there's four models available. Um, but if you've got any more questions, want to see some more details, check out our website or give us a call. Thanks for watching this video.